Today we'll discuss the dense middle cerebral artery sign, or MCA sign. It is commonly stated that ischemic strokes have a negative initial non-contrast head CT when obtained within the three or four and a half hour TPA window. The dense MCA sign is found on the initial non-contrast CT even within minutes of the onset of stroke. It represents thrombotic occlusion of the middle cerebral artery. It does not require IV contrast because the thrombosed vessel is greater in density than the normal vessel. When the dense MCA sign is present, the entire distribution of the MCA is at risk of ischemia or infarction. Consequently, patients will have profound neurologic deficits if blood flow is not restored. The dense MCA appears brighter than the normal contralateral vessel on brain windows. It is a bright dot in short axis cross section and appears elliptical or tubular in shape in long axis cross section. The density of the MCA can be measured using PAX tools. A density greater than 46 Hounsfield units, or 1.2 times that of the normal side, gives the best balance of sensitivity and specificity for the dense MCA sign. In this patient, diffusion-weighted MRI performed immediately after the initial CT demonstrated ischemia of the entire MCA territory. In the same patient, a non-contrast CT performed five days later showed hypodensity consistent with infarction of the entire MCA territory. The dense MCA sign has important diagnostic and prognostic implications. It proves the presence of an ischemic stroke, not a stroke mimic such as seizure with postictal hemiparesis. It is associated with poor outcomes. The dense MCA sign also has treatment implications. It has been recognized that there is an increased risk of hemorrhagic conversion when TPA is given in the presence of the dense MCA sign. Manufacturer and FDA warnings indicate a relative contraindication to TPA administration when the ischemic region is greater than one-third of the MCA territory. This is always the case when the dense MCA sign is present. Other treatment implications of the dense MCA sign require further investigation. Some investigators have suggested the use of intra-arterial TPA or mechanical clot retrieval for patients with the dense MCA sign. However, randomized controlled trials of these therapies are still needed.